up next, uh, no Noel Guerin with Sprinkle. Quick question, real quick, I didn't get to ask. What's your best comic? Because obviously you collect comics, right? I'm just going to go off your slide deck. Actually, I don't. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, whoops, okay. In the U.S., billions of gallons of water is used daily for irrigation. An estimated 13.5 million residential irrigation systems exist. And I think a lot of us showed our hands earlier. An average of those lawns use about 20,000 gallons of water a month. Of which 50% of that water is wasted from inefficient methods and systems. On average, that's $300 a month, $360 a year, and $4.9 billion total. It's a lot of water. 40 out of 50 states have at least one region that's expected to have and face some type of water shortage in the next 10 years. But it's not for a lack of trying. There's a lot of uh, systems out there. There's rain sensors. There's other methods that are trying to conserve this water. And people are continuing to over, over water and overpay. But there's one thing in common, the irrigation controller. So everybody that has an irrigation system, there's some kind of brains to the unit. Usually lies in the garage. There's currently one option to remedy this, and it's by replacement. And on average, it's about $250, uh, and that's without uh, installation. So most of those will require professional installation to come out, install that unit. Uh, a lot of wires to deal with, and most people are intimidated by the installation job. Um, they're hard to install. So there needs to be some kind of technology that bridges the gap between the old traditional systems and the new kind of modern age of data that we live in. And it needs to work with virtually any existing system. So to tap into those markets where everybody out there has a system already, why not create something that can add to that system and then start saving money monthly? We want something that's inexpensive, offers a great ROI, automatically complies with municipal watering restrictions, which are a headache for everyone. These traditional old systems, they can't accommodate those schedules. So you're getting fines, you're getting nasty notes in your mail. Uh, we want to we integrate back into local weather because nothing knows more about your lawn than if it's raining or not, if there's sun outside, than the forecast data itself. And I want to introduce Sprinkle Conserve. We were the 2015 Innovative Award nominee at South by Southwest. We work with virtually any existing irrigation system. It supports customizable conservation rules. You can go in there and you can slide it around and tell it not to water based on past rainfall history. We track, we track rainfall history daily for the area. So we know it's rained you know, four inches in the last two weeks, three weeks, et cetera. We support custom complex schedules and we automatically integrate with municipalities. So we're working with the city of Frisco right now. Easy installation, mount it next to your existing irrigation controller. Connect the supplied wires, there's only four wires to hook up, super simple. Download the Sprinkle app, configure it, and start saving. There's some installation examples we have. It's pretty cool, this one on the right, probably a system from the mid 90s. We're controlling it via the cloud, which is pretty rad. If you, it's probably got a microcontroller that was on the first spaceship. Um, we're available in June for 99 bucks. We landed a deal with Home Depot. 149 stores, about 1,000 units on the first order, so not too bad. Uh, gonna be available on Amazon as well as on our website. Uh, the team, it's myself, Noel Gearing, one of the co-founders, 20 years of software, et cetera, all kinds of other stuff. Daniel Prewster, he's an electrical engineer. Uh, been doing a lot of stuff uh, embedded-wise uh, built power supplies. It's probably in every one of y'all's microwaves. Uh, and there's Mark James here in the front. He's got 30 years of sales and marketing experience. And that is it. Thank you very much. So I first heard about you guys at One Million Cups like a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, and I've been telling, my mom complains about her, her homeowner's uh, place and their sprinklers going off 24-7, even when it's raining outside. Um, but she has to deal with homeowners, uh, HOAs, and other things like that. And a lot of her friends in other communities deal with the same issues. Do you have any suggestions? Or have you, have you dealt with anybody that has to overcome you know, those hurdles? 
Yeah, so like all this last, this rain we've got for the last couple of weeks has been a really good example of our product. And it works both when it's not raining and then when it's, you know, downpouring. Um, for us, we, you know, we look at the weather history and we know when and when not to water. So if she's being yelled at for watering when she's not supposed to, that's one thing the app can, can totally solve. Um, as far as the rain, you know, that's been accumulating the last couple of weeks, um, we have neighbors in our neighborhood that are watering, pounding their lawns right now every night. And I'm, I'm looking back at my history and our app's tracking it. And we've had almost three inches of rain in the last couple, couple of weeks. So there's no reason to water at all. So we're cutting it off in our app, telling the device not to water. So as far as solving that, yes. So is it a common like one irrigation controller for multiple units? And, yeah. We'll, we'll work with any controller so we could work with multi, multi-family properties, et cetera. So um, you guys can actually control each one of the individual zones going through? We don't do the zone control, we just cut the, so actually we work as a rain sensor. So we replace the rain sensor okay. on the individual unit. And then instead of using the, the measured rain data, uh, that's outside on the, the, the old rain sensors are pressure based, they run out, they don't work half the time. So we use all this cloud based data. We're pulling in ham weather radio, ham weather radio data, we're pulling in uh, NOAA weather station data, and we're kind of migrating all that back into a yeah. system and looking at that to see if we should water or not. Okay, so you, so you can't modulate different zones based on different conditions? No, you can configure like the yeah. schedule, like daily, yeah. weekly, yeah, yeah, yeah. every other week, okay. et cetera, but you can't go down to the individual zone level. Okay, yeah, because I use uh, Reikio, which is. Yep, awesome. I, know, I know the product very well. Yeah, it great is, product. It is a bit more expensive, a little bit harder to install, but yeah, okay. Uh, so have you pursued any sorts of deals with, with the municipalities that institute these sorts of water restrictions so that they can say, for instance, we're putting these restrictions on your water usage but there's this product that can help you meet that and maybe will help subsidize it. Right, yeah, we've been working with the city of Frisco and they have a pretty, you know, pretty strict uh, watering policy there. And uh, we're working to get in the rebate program. So actually the device will be free uh, if we do wing that. Um, it's a $99 voucher, so it'll just pay for the cost of the device and it goes towards your water bill, so you get a credit on your water bill if you use our device. At any time, are you planning to take into account uh, the water requirements of the different cultivars of grass or um, the, uh, the, wo the moisture retention of the soil? Great question. Since this is kind of like a global controller or a global on and off, whether you can water or not, um, there's certain aspects that we can take into consideration, but lawns have all kinds of different vegetation in them. We've got different stuff in our flower bed that requires different watering than our front yard, than our backyard that's in you know, shade. Um, but we are working on some stuff with the Parrot moisture sensors, so we're going to integrate that data back into here, so you'll be able to slide on a slider and adjust the water levels that you want. Uh, we actually, and I can, I guess I can talk about this. We just netted a, uh, or just uh, struck a deal with Net Tomato, it makes a, a connected weather station, so we're going to be able to integrate that back in. So if you have one of those devices, you can use it for determining when it went out to water, and it's just pulling the data from your backyard. So. Uh, sorry, over here, and the other side. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Uh, so the, n the device actually costs $99. Is there any subscription fee beyond that? It's just $99. Just $99. So when you do a deal with like Frisco and it becomes part of that rebate program, do you make money off of that? Is Frisco then paying you or how does that work? Yeah, yeah, it's done through the rebate program. 30 seconds, one more question, anybody? Do I still need to have the controller to control all the zones and stuff? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's an add-on to an existing controller. Okay. Um, spread the word. I mean, we're uh, we're launching here in what uh, Mark five weeks, six weeks. So let everybody know to go buy one. They'll be on the shelves pretty much every store here in the area. <laughs>